Hi, I'm poet and writer Case Spivey. Today I'm going to be doing the anxious author tuber tag. I think I saw Stephen Partridge do this one and I saw Elsie Clements do this one. I feel like I saw someone else do it but then when I was scrolling through to try and find like the original, I'm not sure who started this tag to be honest. I think it was Stephen Partridge. But anyway, so I really wanted to do this because I definitely have anxiety and this seemed like an interesting tag. So I'm gonna jump right on into it. And of course I'll tag the two people I just mentioned below. Question number one, did you think about opening your channel for months or even years? No. The funny thing is I started my channel as a way back, way back in 2011 as a way to post clips from England where I was studying abroad so that my family could see them like back then it was just a way of sharing video and then I think I started trying to do poetry for a while it didn't really take off I didn't really like it at the time and I took those videos down that would have been actually that would have been around 2011 too and then when I started doing well and I posted videos from Japan again just to share video with people who I wasn't that that close contact with and then once I started doing like author tube, I thought about it and I decided to do it as like a big startup. So I did the the 100 poems in 100 days challenge and that was really the start of my channel was trying to do that. And it was very awkward and I was sort of just trying my best because at least I knew that it was in a, I wasn't going to like take off doing poetry, but I thought it would be a fun thing to try and at least like I had a task. And then it was, you know, a couple of months of having a task and videos that had to go out at a certain time to kind of get me in the groove. Number two, do you ever feel guilty for not filming, but too uncomfortable to do so? And what makes you feel even more guilty? I kind of like, like, I'm getting used to talking on camera. And I think the more you do it, the more you like it. Like, it's kind of fun to have like a video diary of yourself and like talk to people. Um, like I'm enjoying it more and more. But yeah, I feel guilty for not filming. Um, I actually I have jury duty. <laughs> That's why I haven't been posting as much like I have work and, and jury duty. And because it's COVID, it has been crazy. I only just found out just now I'm gonna be on a jury which then I can't talk about, but I am going, I'm filming a little vlog of everything just to get my thoughts out. And then if I get to a point where I can post all of that, I'm going to post it in videos, my whole experience of being on a jury and going through jury duty during COVID, but that's going to be later. But yeah, I feel guilty anytime I can't film. And I have to keep reminding myself, like posting every day is great. Like, like having a regular schedule, like, yeah, it works with the algorithm, but not with like people. So I'm trying to just post when I have something good to post or something reasonable and not just to post just for, for the algorithm because I think that's kind of a stupid way to go and I'm not like that business mindset -y type of person. Number three, do you question your original topic choices for weeks ending up filming an entirely different video on a whim because you think you're dumb? I mull over topics for videos for a very, very long time. I tend to like think of them in the shower or something and write them down and then yeah, it can take me a while, but it's usually like once I've decided I'm going to film this thing, then I film it and then I edit it and then like that's good. Like once it's been done, it's been done. Man, I like scratched myself and there is a nasty patch and I can see it every time I look up and I'm sure you can see it. I think I just scratched myself there. That's all that is. Number four, do you struggle opening up to other author tubers for reasons such as I'm not interesting enough, I don't have anything to say, they'll think I'm here for clout. I definitely have the, the they'll think I'm here for clout thing. Um, I struggle opening up, like I had been on the Facebook group and for my own mental health I had to leave it. Just there's all kinds of drama there and because it posts so regularly, I, I just needed to distance myself from that. That It's not that I didn't like the people who were there and didn't feel like it was like worthwhile, but I also felt like it, it wasn't it wasn't the right circumstance for me like I like reaching out to people like I like talking to people um I try and respond to comments but I'm terrible about that too like sometimes I'll see your comment like while I'm at work and I'll be like oh I'll respond later and then like a month will pass and I'll be like oh I should respond to my comments now but like reaching out to people unless I have something interesting and specific to say I have a hard time so like commenting on people's videos I I try and I don't always feel like I can and then like people who are bigger too I, I, unless I have something really really important to say I don't because yeah I do worry that they'll think I'm a brown noser or something number five do you spend more time preparing for a video worrying about your looks what you have to say your background 
or uh, anything else um, than actually filming and editing. Maybe not more time. I do definitely like get made up <laughs> and I, I do set things up and stuff. Um, I try to keep it all to a minimum. Editing takes the longest, but it's also the most painful because of my wrist problems. So uh, that, that does take the longest. Setting up doesn't take like longer than the other things, I guess. Number six, do you sometimes black out during filming, not saying anything in front of the camera because you're suddenly questioning your entire life choices and wondering why you ended up here? I used to, definitely used to. Now I think more, it's that sometimes I don't hear myself when I misspeak and I'll go back in an editing or even like afterwards and people will point something out and I'll just be like, why did I say that? Like that wasn't what my, I intended to say, but I just kind of blah, 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 blah. I don't know, like word spew or get, get, get anxious, I guess. Um, number seven, have you ever cringed so much about a video you've not posted it, deleted it, buried, uh, buried the memory card in your garden, dug it out because it's expensive and cried for a few hours? I have posted videos that I have taken down. I've just put that. I have also posted, I, well, I've also filmed parts of videos that I've cut out large sections. I've talked about things that I was like, don't need to post that. Mm -mm. And I've, yeah, I've, I've had videos that I have created and then not posted. Absolutely. Sometimes you're just not feeling it later. Sometimes it's because the editing is going to take so long and I'm not into that. And sometimes it's just, yeah, yeah, this is not appropriate to talk about or it's not the right timing or I no longer believe that. And then, yeah, absolutely. Number eight, do you watch or even rewatch your video just to insult yourself in your head or on the opposite? Do you refuse to do so because you'll know you'll end up insulting yourself in your head? I do try to practice being kind to myself and once it's out there I do and I think like publishing poetry and things like I, I've been able to practice this mindset that once it's posted that's it that's as good as it gets I don't get to nitpick anything else now it's posted now it's done I can watch my videos back and just like enjoy the video and distance myself like but that has taken years of practice from publishing do you feel no oh, number nine do you feel guilty when you promote your work on social media I do and I shouldn't and it's like certain things like posting pictures of my books on tumblr or on Instagram as long as it's in moderation I feel quite good about that because I feel like I try to make the pictures really nice and like they fit with the platform but just saying something like on Twitter, it does feel like shouting into the void and it does kind of make me like, who cares? Or like, am I like, I don't know, am I coming across like an asshole, you know? And number 10, did this tag make you reconsider your entire YouTube channel? No, but do I reconsider my entire YouTube channel sometimes? Yeah, I think maybe if I like focused more or I promoted in a different way or I went about some things slightly differently, like yeah, it could, it could make a difference. Um, I see people growing who are doing things that like I know do work because I've heard other people say that they work that I don't feel comfortable doing or that I don't feel it would, to me it would feel like I was selling out and I don't want to do those things even though like clearly it works clearly it can get you ahead faster but yeah I'm not I'm not really here for that so it's not that I'm rethinking it it's more that just like this is the speed I'm going at and I'm just gonna have to keep going at it because I don't have any help with this so other than me being inspired to change something like things are not going to change that much so what you see is what you're going to get. <laughs> Alright that's all for today. I gotta edit this so it can post. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you again soon. Good luck to all of us. Bye!